So a really underrated feature that I think a lot of YouTube influencers did not talk about was the fact that the USB-C streaming now streams at 4K 30 frames per second. And this is unprecedented for a Sony camera. Before you actually had to go out and buy a cam link 4K or a Razer equivalent. And this thing could cost a lot of money. It's like at least $100 in order to get really good quality onto your camera so you can do Zoom meetings and look really cool in presentations and whatnot. But I like to use it for my workflows. I like to record directly into my computer because I can hook up a USB condenser mic and all that stuff. So it just, there's so many efficiencies by using the cam link. But can this ZV-E1 just replace this cam link? Can I sell it, maybe recoup some losses and just use this from, from now on? Well. Let's find out in this video. Some of the things that I'm really concerned about is that this shoots at 4K 30 frames per second, and the cam link allows you to shoot at 24 frames per second, which is the native, which is the native frames per second that I typically shoot with all my other content. Let's say I'm shooting some B-roll. I like to, you know, put everything into 24 frames per second because of efficiency. I want to save space, save uh, computation on my computer and all that stuff. So that's one thing that I'm really concerned about. The footage that you see now is a 30 frames per second on a 24. FPS timeline, let me know if it's choppy or anything weird like that. One thing to take note between these two comparisons of the cam link and the camera is how is the picture quality in terms of the sharpness, detail, the actual color and the skin rendition. So let's find out in this video. So right now I'm streaming with the ZV-E1 using USB-C into OBS. We're filming at 1440p because that's just how I typically film. And we are filming at 4K 30 frames per second. Therefore, I had to put my shutter to one over 60, which is something that I'm not used to. When I shoot at 24 frames per second with my cam link 4K, it totally works fine, you know, obviously, because I'm shooting in 24 frames per second. So this is a little bit of a debacle for me because I like to shoot everything in 24 frames per second because obviously it saves space and time and, and heat uh, when you record other clips, not just the talking head right here. So I'm a little bit conflicted over this functionality. One, I think it's really good that we have USB-C but I just really wish that they could just give us the 24 frames per second speed option. So how does this footage compare with the Camlink 4K, which will also be filmed in 1440p at 24 frames per second? And also, does anything look choppy or is any weird artifacts? How is the color reproduction? Are the colors better through USB-C or is it better through the Camlink 4K? So I switched back to 1440p in OBS and you might be wondering, why do I wanna shoot in a lower resolution? Well, first of all, 1440p is better than 1080p. It's a good middle ground between 4K and 1080p. The reason why is that the footage that gets generated as I record into OBS in a 4K is just extremely large and kind of hard to edit with. So unfortunately, I do have to make this trade-off of the convenience of recording directly into my computer and speaking into OBS and also having a lower resolution. So I don't see too much of a big difference between the USB and the cam link in 1440p. In the cam link, I do look a little bit more pale. I'm not sure if that's because the exposure is slightly different because I had to change the shutter, but I should have kept the same white balance. And I'm not sure how these capture cards work if they do anything to the actual input layer. Like for example, maybe they modify the colors a bit, but I've never had any color issues on like some of the cheaper USB uh, capture cards that I bought for $20 that are 1080p that looked completely awful. They make you completely red or purple, they give you some weird hue. And I never felt that on the Camlink 4K. So when I compare it to the USB streaming, they both seem more, pretty much the same, like in terms of sharpness. But yeah, let me know if in the comment section, if you see anything different, but thankfully this is looking promising. Maybe I can get rid of my Camlink 4K and just keep the, the USB C streaming and, you know, save a couple hundred, maybe a hundred bucks or something. All right, so now I switch OBS to record at 4K. So this is the USB-C streaming with the Sony ZV-E1. We're at 4K, 30 frames per second. How does this look? So now I switch to recording with the Elgato Camlink 4K, and we're still filming at 4K resolution into OBS directly. And I had to lower my shutter speed back to one over 50 because now we're back at true 4K, 24 frames per second. So this should be more aligned with my Premiere Pro timeline. So looking at the 4K footage side by side, I, I feel like the USB streaming just looks a tad sharper. The colors look a little bit nicer than the cam link. So, so far I'm quite impressed. I just don't know how a 30 FPS footage will look on the 24P uh, timeline. Please let me know in the comment section. So I just wanna quickly say that I really like the fact that they implemented the USB streaming in such a way where you don't have to fiddle with any menus. Once you set your USB connection to default to streaming, 
All you have to do is plug it in and you don't have to finagle with anything. It works more like just the HDMI cable or the Camlink 4K where things just automatically work. And to me, that is very important to my workflow. I appreciate Sony's attention to detail in regards to just the usability of the USB streaming. So there's something really weird that I forgot to mention. In OBS, you can go into the settings and manually force 24 frames per second capture. So I don't know what's happening. You're basically having a 4K 30 frames per second feed that comes into OBS and then converts it to 24 uh, FPS. And then finally, I can match all that 24 FPS footage that I get directly from my memory card on my camera from the Sony ZV E1 because I like to shoot in 24 frames per second. And then, you know, layer on this A roll that I'm, I'm using right now. And right, your scene right now is 24 frames per second. So uh, let me know in the, in the comments section if you notice anything difference, any difference when, with the 30 FPS that is just, you know, put onto a 24 FPS timeline versus the footage that you see now, which is 30 FPS stream converted to 24, which then is placed onto a 24 FPS timeline. So this might be the magical solution to um, recording flawlessly onto this on, on, into a 24 FPS timeline. And the next step you're gonna see is also gonna be filmed with the USB-C connection, 4K30 con converted to 24 FPS in OBS. So you'll see that as well. So let's cut right into the conclusion. All right, so we compared the Sony ZV-E1 USB output versus the Camlink 4K. Please let me know in the comment section down below which one you prefer, which one looks the best. I'd be very curious to know. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments or if you want to learn more about these products, I'll leave links in the description and I'll see you in the next video.